I'm here today to urge all voters in Wisconsin to support Governor Scott Walker. Governor, as a conservative commentator, JRC 99 US pointed out to me, the reality is that Governor Walker was rightfully elected by the people in November of 2010 to do a job. And he has successfully reined in the power of public sector unions and has saved Wisconsin from financial ruin. He not only deserves re-election, but this entire recall effort in Wisconsin is a joke. It is purely political on the part of Democrats, and it shows their desperation um, to, to gain power, but also to ignore the will of the people. The truth is that unions, private sector unions, and even some public sector ones, have played an important role in promoting the rights of workers and safe working conditions, fair wages, and decent working hours. But like any person or organization, the public, many of the public sector unions have become overly powerful, and the union bosses have begun to abuse that power and push too far. The, the truth is that having a private sector union is one thing, because the private sector, you're not working on the taxpayer's dime. But public sector unions have got to realize that their workers, they are entitled to fair wages, they are entitled to fair working hours and, and good conditions. But the truth is that excessive benefits and excessive wages uh, that are greater than that of those in the private sector is unacceptable because you're working on a taxpayer on the taxpayer's dime. So, you know, I'm not here to bash unions. I'm here to actually defend the unions that defend workers' uh, rights with regards to wages and fair working hours and conditions. But I am here to say that some of the public sector unions, and certainly not all of them, but some of them have become overly powerful. And Governor Walker was is simply trying to deal with the problem that he sees fit. And I don't know why this comes as a surprise to anybody, because this is part of the agenda that he ran on in 2010. This is purely an effort on the Democrats' part to play politics uh, and to, again, this is just about trying to defy what the voters want. And, you know, most polls have Walker up against Tom Barrett by about 8 to 10 points. I don't know why Bill Clinton is even getting involved in this nonsense. Scott Walker is the rightful governor. He won by a comfortable margin in 2010. I'm not going to say he won by a landslide, but he did win by a comfortable margin. He has uh, a, a, he had a victory. He did what he told people he would do. The Democrats just don't like it, so they decided to cry like little children, and to play politics and to try to run a, a you know run a really a joke candidate against Walker. Um, you know I, I don't think they could have found a serious candidate to run against Walker though, because any serious person knows that Walker was elected. They might not agree with him. You know I, I don't. Uh, I have. I don't think that Obama is a. You know, I think Obama is a bad president, but I know that he was rightfully elected by the people. I'm not going to deny that just because I don't like him. He was elected. That's how it. You know, uh, now unlike Walker, Obama has broken the law, but that's another story. So, you know, this is really a joke. I'm not here to assault unions. I am here to attack the Democratic Party and to support Governor Walker for re-election. Because again, he was rightfully elected by the people. He did he, he did what he said he would do. And the truth is that unions have a role to play, but sometimes, you know, no matter what interest groups you support, there has to be a line drawn to groups that you like and those you don't like, because this is America. So I hope that Governor Walker is re-elected. I believe he will be. I think the Democrats, this is just showing a sign of desperation and, and frankly, you know, maybe they don't have to, maybe in their minds they don't have to do what they said they've promised, but any upstanding, decent person does with somebody who sticks to their word. That's what Governor Walker has done, and I'm sorry that Tom Barrett and the Democrats of Wisconsin are so desperate and, and frankly, idiotic that they have to uh, try to run this, this really costly and unnecessary recall effort. And... I think that the voters of Wisconsin, both in voting for Governor Walker and, and, and voting for Governor Romney in the fall, should really realize how desperate, idiotic, and childish the Democrats are being.